Y'all welcome to my channel again. For all you young people out there, I'm going to show you how to make deer burritos. I know it's older folks already know how to do it, but this is for the young ones that don't know how to cook and getting out there on their own and all that stuff. So I'll show y'all step by step. Y'all just stay tuned. I got my deer meat going already. I'll show y'all that. There's my deer meat. I only turned it one time. I just keep it stirred. And chopped up once I get it flipped. Mmm, smelling good already too. And all I have in there is pepper right now. I'm gonna put some salt and other stuff in there. Not too much. So beat it up because it sticks together a little bit. Make it loose meat because you don't want to eat like a hamburger in a burrito. Yeah, I'm crunching it up. Okay. I'll leave that there for a second. These are the ingredients. <clears throat> this is what we wrap them in. The jump I got a jumbo pack of soft taco shells. Get it from Sam's is where I got these from, but you can get them at any grocery store. Got my sour cream. Got my sharp cheddar cheese. I have my refried beans, one can. I have one pack of taco seasoning, and my tomatoes, and onions. And I'm gonna put two tablespoons of vinegar in it once I get it uh, cooked and ready to go. Or before, when I put the refried beans in there, I'll put the vinegar in there. But right now, let me get this on. Uh, let me get this meat done. And I'll show y'all the other steps. Alright ladies and gentlemen. I have my refried beans. I got my meat done. So I'm going to add this refried beans in there. Get that chopped up real good. Mix it in. gets hot it'll, it'll break down a little better smear it around a little bit spread it out in the meat I got my salt and pepper in the pan already sit for a minute while I get my taco seasoning in there there's my spoon holder okay. all right now we add the taco seasoning Stirring it and get it all over the place. Well, that added a lot of smell to it. Smell-o-vision, y'all. Mm. <laughs> That's a little dark there, so I'll take and mix it over in the other spot. I 
I love my dear burritos. Alright, I got that in there. Let me go ahead and add two tablespoons of vinegar. I got apple cider vinegar, so it's on. That's what I'm going to use. Here's one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. I like to clean up as I'm going too. That way I don't have such a job at the end. I love my cast iron pans. That's all I cook out of when I'm frying or doing these. Oh yeah, this has got a good consistency to it now. Good color on everything. I'll put that, well let me get that pan going a little bit. I want that pan just barely warm over here. This other pan and then just lay that flat down in there. See how it's in that pan. All you want to do is warm it up just a little bit so it'll wrap right. Let me go ahead and stir this and get some more of that water out. Ooh, that's smelling good. Smelling good. Yes, sir. Stir it up a little more. Make sure I get that vinegar everywhere. I don't want that vinegar in just one spot. If I used hamburger on this, I'd have to drain the grease and all out of it before I put my other seasonings and stuff in here and the beans and all, but my deer don't have that much uh, fat in it. So I don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm going to turn this off and put it covered. <sighs> well, I. Uh, I'll just turn it to low just to keep it warm until Tom and them gets here. Ready for burritos, Timmy? Get all the stuff on the table as soon as I get this burrito warmed up. I don't know if the pan's hot enough yet or not. Not yet. Turn it on up a little bit to get it hot. This is how I set out my ingredients. I just put my plate right here for when the tortilla gets ready I got my cheese my tomatoes and onions and sour cream right there I'll put the meat on the thing and then bring it over here and we just set it down and put all your ingredients on it and that's all there is to it and I'll show you how to wrap it all right ladies and gentlemen I got the meat on the burrito on the shell Throw some ingredients on there, some cheese. That stuff melt in there good. Get some tomatoes. Throw some tomatoes up in here. And some onion. sour cream does that look good mm -mm. do to me this thing don't work too hard well I thought this thing was open mm. must have to open this thing somehow Oh, there. oh. <laughs> you gotta unscrew that and then take this off first. I know, guys. It's the first time I ever. 
if I had to open one of these and just screw this thing back on there. Damn, it should push some out. There it goes. A little sour cream here. Yeah, that ought to be good. And you take, pick one end, flip it up, flip that over, and just roll it up. Voila, we have burritos. Timmy, your burritos here. You want to try it on camera? Now we try the burrito. Might not look like much, but it's got pretty good stuff in there. Once I get down to all the ingredients, I didn't want to push it all out. Didn't you? Mm. Oh yeah, I got a bunch. That's how you cook a deer burrito or any kind of burrito. I just use deer meat. I don't use hamburger at all. <sighs> y'all tell somebody you love them. We'll see y'all on the next video. Have a good day.